So is there a code to your closet? Well, fashion blogger and owner of clothing store, Closet Code, Martina Vickers has some style tips she wants to share with us this morning. Martina, good morning to you. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you for joining us. I'm told you have an innate sense of style and great advice for building our wardrobes. Not many people doing a lot of road these days. Other people are. Um, but there are some general tips you, you can share with us. But tell me a little bit about your own interest in this field and experience in this field. Um, so my interest kind of stems just really from growing up and always having a unique sense of style, I would say, and also finding that this was always the way I expressed myself. So naturally, I kind of, you know, wondered what is it that I'm going to do that I can do fulfillment in my job. And um, this is not a traditional career choice. However, it's fun just like anyone else. And it's something that I feel fulfilled. So it's kind of why I branched into it. Um, I worked with numerous high-end stores when I was living in the States in the past few years. And after seeing exactly what they do and how they make stores so much different in terms of the shopping experience with having an aesthetic appeal to the brand and also having an environment where you feel like you're more shopping in a friend's closet rather than just going in to pick up something. And because of me seeing that and seeing a different way, I wanted to be able to do that. And that's kind of how Closet Code and the brand was born. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and you know that food and travel are just as important to you as fashion, right? So you just have a love for all things kind of artistic and flairy and so on. Yeah. So I find that interesting. Um, so, so the name Closet Code came to you because people kind of looked at your style and they were like, ooh, Martina, where did you get the top? Where did you get that bottom? How did you put those two together? Um, and so that's how the name, you brainstormed and got the name Closet Code. Yeah, pretty much it was just a sense of, I always had people ask me, where did you buy this or where did you get that? And I also, you know, with growth over the years, we wanted some way to document, you know, my different outfits, my transition of my personal style, and it kind of fell into that way. And I just said, hmm, if I'm giving people advice on like where to get stuff and the closet essentials, it's kind of like giving a code for your closet. So that's kind of what it is. Okay, so I, I find some of your advice interesting. One code, you said, don't get pieces based on trends or seeing somebody else, but instead buy things that suit your body because that's what you're going to most confidently wear. That's an interesting piece of advice when, you know, we're in a time when trends are it. Mm -hmm. So for sure, I feel like we rely on trends and trends are good because it gives us examples of, you know, what's coming up next and ideas of how to follow it. But at the end of the day, there could be a trend that just doesn't suit your body type and what you like to wear. And it's not going to suit you. So you always have to wear what suits your body best because at the end of the day, if I wear something that I like or how it looks on me, that's when I'm going to pull it off the best. That's when you're going to wear it the best and you feel your best. So it's best to always get pieces that I feel suit you because that's what you're going to get the most wear out of and also feel the most confident in. Okay. Um, you have some other tips. Um pieces that you can get multiple wears out of, good basic pieces to build up your wardrobe so you can dress them up or down. You actually have put some looks together um, to show us. So let's go have a look at what you have lined up. Talk us through. Okay, so for something a little bit dressier, if you were planning on going out, going out, I find right now, because we are going out as much, I see a lot of people capitalizing on occasions, for example, a birthday. So something super feminine, but also not doing too much, but you get a little piece of mm, from it. I love this um, split long skirt. I feel like the color also is very vibrant, feminine. So it's nice, especially for something like a birthday. And this top is also something that's a bestseller, of course, because honestly, I do not see one person put it on and it looks bad. Because of this ribbed material, it sculpts the body and really fits well. And then, as I said, it's always great to accessorize. 
So a nice neutral bag, a little pink necklace that kind of pops up the color of the skirt just so you tie everything together. I feel like that's something really nice for a special occasion or more going out. This is something that's like an elevated daytime. If you really wanted to dress up, because I mean, there's not much places to go. I have people telling me now, like, I'm dressed up for the supermarket. So, you know, just to kind of brighten your day in that sense, I did a classic denim short with this oversized puff shoulder top, and it's always great to layer with necklaces. That way, it kind of accents the piece. And then a nice pop of color that you can tie back into your accessories. And this is a great way that you can overall put together a nice look for daytime also. And then next, something a little bit dressier now. This is also something that's really comfortable. I always like to pair, not you can definitely color block, but it's nice when you pair light colors because they come out so much nicer together. Um, so that sense of a brightness that will, you know, nice and deeper skin tones. Also nice for like if you have your hair out. And as I said, it's always good to accessories because the accessories really complete the look. Yeah. And these are all that are super breezy, easy to wear, especially when you know it's still a little bit hot, but you still always want to be comfortable. So these are pieces that definitely can show for a variety of people in terms of just an idea for the time. What how how important is body type to those looks? Because for example, I look at the one in the middle, it has a lot of volume. So I'm thinking maybe if you have a a, a broader kind of top shoulder type um, torso that maybe that's not something you, I mean, how do you factor in body type into this? Well, it just depends. And this is why I always love people to try. And that's what I love with the store sense because you're able to see what things look like on you. Yes, this is a little bit extraness on the top, but if you do have a broad shoulder, something like this may actually cover it because of how it sits on the shoulders. So it will not necessarily for somebody who is bigger make you look even bigger because this alone kind of covers up some of that the only thing i would say is that if you're not confident with having a little bit more cleavage in the front i would add something in here just right. to kind of you know give you a little sense of a cover up comfortable and then this one also i always recommend the body tape is also really good because then you can sit it exactly where you want on your body so then it really will fit to where you want accordingly Okay, so your blog is closetcode.co and yes. your location is uh, by Super Valley Town Center um, yes. on Constant Spring Road. You are on Instagram at closetcodeco. So if folks want to go get tips, um, see what's in store, literally and figuratively, then they can, can check you out there, right, Martino? For sure, yes. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing those tips with us this morning. Really, really appreciate Martina Vickers, owner of Closet Code, with us this morning. And uh, with that, we take a break on Smile because there's more coming. Yes, we still have to wrap. We'll be right back. <laughs>